All right, so Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is the sequel to 2015's Jurassic World. And basically the volcano on Isla Nublar, I thought it was pronounced Isla Nublar, apparently it's Isla Nublar, according to a newscaster in the movie at least, so I don't know. The island that is home to the dinosaurs, it has a volcano and the volcano is beginning to erupt. So Claire Deering and Owen Grady have to team up again to try and save as many dinosaurs as they possibly can before it erupts and kills them all. That's a pretty simple plot, a pretty entertaining plot too. That plot of the island going down, that's not even half of this movie. That's like the first act, maybe a little bit of act two, but mostly the first act. And it's a really entertaining first act, but they mess up by making it just the first act, which is a negative to the movie. I like to begin my reviews with positives as much as possible. So let me go ahead and list off the positives real quick. First act, already established that. Some cool moments throughout. And one very small positive is the Endoraptor, which is basically the Indominus Rex, just smaller. The only thing I like about the Endoraptor is the cool factor. That's it. I mean, I like the Indominus Rex, so putting it in the package of a Velociraptor, it called for some cool moments, but that small list of positives isn't really enough to win me over for the Fallen Kingdom. Simply because there is a major plot line in this film that really doesn't belong in this movie. I mean, it's interesting, sure, but it really doesn't belong. I'm not going to go into it, but it has to do with the mansion, so if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And it involves this little girl, this whole family conspiracy, and like black market activities, and it's just all kind of munched in there with, oh yeah, there's dinosaurs source too, I guess. It doesn't really work. Not for me, at least. And I, I mean, judging by the reviews on this film, both critics and audience, I don't think I'm alone. But yeah, that was disappointing. And like I said, I mean, there are cool moments even in that part of the film, which is the majority of the movie. There are cool moments. They're not enough for me to forgive the movie. They're just moments that kind of hold me over until the credits start rolling, which even then those moments aren't always enough because the pacing in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is not good. I said in my review of Jurassic World that like the first 20 minutes were kind of rough on the pacing. Once you get to the main stuff, it's fine. This movie does the opposite. Both with plot and with pacing, it starts off solid, things are going, and then it gets into the thick of the film and my interest just started dropping. Mostly because the majority of the film is a plot line that shouldn't even be in a Jurassic Park film. I mean, granted, yeah, it sets up for Jurassic World Dominion. There could have been a better way to execute all this. So really what I think should have happened was I think that the first act of this film where they are trying to save the dinosaurs from the volcano. That should have been the entirety of the film, including the whole animal rights thing, because in a real world situation, you are going to have the people that are pro saving the animals and against saving the animals, dinosaurs. And that's a really cool thing to see. I mean, I'm not saying that I wanted the whole movie to be like a C-SPAN broadcast or anything like that, but that aspect of the film is just, it was a neat thing. Take that with Owen and Claire on the island, trying to save the dinosaurs, a race against the clock. That's all just really cool to me. And I feel like that alone would perfectly segue way into the idea that is Jurassic World Dominion. <sighs> That, that was a long rant. <laughs> Just for a quick rundown, this movie has wasted potential. The first act should have been spread out between all three acts. They focus on things that they really shouldn't be focusing on, taking attention off of the dinosaurs. Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, they're talented actors. They don't bring the same stuff that they brought in Jurassic World. So that was a bummer. Then you have the pacing. And I mean, really and truly, I don't see myself watching this again in the future, unless maybe if it's like in the background, like on TV or something, but I'm not actually gonna sit down and pay attention and give this movie my time. And I think that pretty much wraps up my review. So Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it didn't work out so well. I give it a low rewatch probability. But yeah, anyways, those are my thoughts on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Hopefully Jurassic World Dominion isn't as bad as when I'm starting here it is. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in the comments below. And more scrolling, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more like it. But most importantly, thank you for watching and most, most importantly, have a great day.